You don't like the lights, but it's camera time. Said take the picture, but you rolled your eyes. Now I'm mortified and still terrorized. Push me behind to get me from my better side. I wanna. All right, an yung haseyo mga kabayan. Alam nyo bang napakaraming mga bagay ang hindi natin dapat gawin o ginagawa tuwing umaga. Maging tayo man po estudyante, nagtatrabaho, o nag-uupisina, o whatsoever pa man po ang ating status sa buhay. Napakarami po talaga ang mga bagay na dapat iwaglit o dapat di po natin ginagawa tuwing pagising po natin sa umaga. So napakagandang topic po natin ngayon mga kababayan ko ano. Pero bago 'yan, kung ngayon ka lang po napadpad rito sa channel ko, paki-like at subscribe naman po sa channel natin para ganun po tayong gumawa ng mga content pa po na pwedeng mag-inspire sa iyo at sa iba pa po nating mga kababayan po. Every gising is a blessing. Totoo po 'yan. Kaya pagising po natin sa umaga, mga kababayan ko, iwasan po natin gawa ng mga bagay na pwedeng ikasira ng ating buong maghapon. So kung ano-ano po itong mga bagay na ito, bigla, bigyan ko po kayo ng halimbawa. Ha? Ikaw ba pagising mo sa umaga, ano ba yung una mong ginagawa? Marahil lang iba sa atin ay inuuna ang cellphone imbis na magpasalamat sa ating mahal na Panginoon. Actually napakarami po niyan eh na dapat hindi po natin ginagawa pero ginagawa natin pa ulit-ulit natin ginagawa na hindi natin namamalala, namamalayan kumbaga na nakakasira na po ng ating buong maghapon so ang video pong ito naway magbibigay po sa atin ng uh, kunting idea no? kung ano ba talaga yung mga dapat natin gawin pagkagising natin sa umaga nang sa ganun ay maging product, productive po ang ating buong maghapon So, thank you so much po. Naway mag-enjoy po kayo rito. Tara, panoorin po natin. If you don't get so much done during the day, you most likely are doing the wrong things in the morning. It is a belief that how you start your day determines how your day goes. How you begin your morning determines if you'll have a productive day or a sluggish day. Successful people, people who enjoy repeated success, know this as a fact. So, If there's any part of the day that they take seriously, it is their morning. The reason is simple. The morning is the most productive period of the day. A lot that goes wrong during the day is often a pointer to what went wrong in the morning. If you learn to seize your morning and make the most of it, perhaps you will be surprised at how productive your day goes from now on and how refreshed you are constantly when you hit the floor tomorrow morning. If you're making this certain mistakes in the morning, it is probably what is holding you back from enjoying your day and reaching the most success that is available for your taking. If you're new to this channel, subscribe below so you will not miss other interesting videos we publish here. So, if you're doing the following things in the morning, it is time to stop them. 1. Stop hitting the snooze button. Sleep is beautiful. Sleep is great. You need sound sleep to keep your mental, emotional and all-round better. But when you overshoot the boundary of good sleep, you're going off tangent and are affecting a lot of things, like goals and dreams, your aspirations and ambitions. You longed to sleep longer when you worked for some company from early morning until late at night. Now that you're on your own, it's easy to hit the snooze button all the time. But each time you do, you are killing your goals and dreams. You are telling your subconscious that those goals and dreams do not matter. Soon. Your subconscious gets used to that message and that's that for your dream. Snoozing all the time will lead you to experience lower productivity, a lack of urgency in life, and frustration by the end of the day. Kill this habit before it kills your dreams and goals. When your alarm goes off, hit the floor with a mindset that you have so much to achieve and a brand new day is here to achieve those things. Your dreams will not achieve themselves. Always wake up with a mindset of taking on the day and tackling your top projects so you make progress every morning. 2. Stop writing your to-do list in the morning. As a rule of thumb, I try not to write my to-do list first thing in the morning. This may seem crazy. How will you organize your day if you don't write your to-do list first thing in the morning? The reason is simple. If you write your to-do list the moment you wake up, you already did it too late. You ought to find out what your priority will be the night before. It's best to plan your day the night before 
so you are already mentally organized and inclined to attack your day as soon as you're up from the bed. Your mind will be too sluggish to work when you haven't set your priority list the night before and you're trying to do it first thing in the morning. That's how successful people take charge of their day. They plan it the night before. 3. Stop checking your email first Okay, I know this goes a little bit off tangents as well. You want to check your email for important information you may miss the night before or during the night. Or you want to catch up on what's fun in your inbox. When your alarm hits in the morning, one of the first things you can do is to turn over and start checking through your email. Soon, as you do that, you could get sucked onto it and then time goes by without you even knowing. What's worse is that because you need your Wi-Fi on to check your email, social media notifications and other notifications can drag you in. This way, you can forget about a productive day. It can be fun to check your email to figure if you've received payments from the office, notifications for important meetings or some info from your favorite TV program. Still, emails can wait. If you want to record progress in your work, then spend the first 30 to 60 minutes on your top priority first. Other things like email can wait. 4. Stop surfing the internet mindlessly first thing in the morning Do you hit the internet first thing in the morning? In the hope that you will soon bounce away from it. How often have you found yourself getting sucked into the black hole of the internet as soon as you've started surfing? Stop allowing the internet to steal your progress and productivity. A good program you can add to your computer is Internet Freedom. This app can block you from visiting certain websites or using the internet during certain times. When you cut off so much wasted time on the internet, you can have more time to pursue your dreams. 5. Stop eating foods that weaken you You can set impeccable plans for the day. You can make a beautiful to-do list the night before. You can choose to never ease time checking emails and internet because you want to have the most productive day ever. Yet, you can ruin each day with your nutrition habits. Most perfect mornings are ruined with the poor food you eat. If you load on carbs for breakfast, you could wonder why you are constantly dozing off by 10 a.m. Lots of people lose productivity in the day, not mostly due to work habits but through what they eat. If you're making a mistake, you are hurting your productivity. Consuming 300 calories of sugar in the morning mug of coffee can make you crash by 11 a.m. Observe the things you eat and how you feel. What goes into your mouth can affect how you feel during the day. If you eat the right meal, it can increase your productivity. The right meal greatly affects how you work each day. 6. Stop leaving the blinds closed Let me guess. You don't like sunlight hitting your face first thing in the morning, so you pull the blind and leave it closed, right? Well, it turns out that sunlight has many benefits. Your body wants to have sunlight in the morning because of its brightness. Sunlight beautifully indicates the start and end of a day. Over the years, your body has learned to follow the day and night cycle based on the availability of light. However, today, artificial lights have changed the way nature identifies night and day. The truth is that sunlight helps you to fight diseases, strengthens bones, and prevents inflammation. You may keep having the feeling of a long night but by closing your blind, you're missing the advantage of having sunlight in your face each morning. 7. Stop starting your day at random Do you start your day doing whatever comes to mind first? Stop it. If you approach your morning arbitrarily, you are not using your mornings effectively. You don't have to stick to a certain model for your mornings. You only need a good enough plan to always have the best mornings ever. Always do things that help you improve and grow. To start your day right, do something you are passionate about. Work on your long-term goals, learn a new skill or improve your area of expertise by taking an online course or reading a book. You don't have to have a million dollar plan to have a great day. You just have to make sure you strive to get the best out of your day by doing the most important things. 8. Stop getting out of bed instantly or laying there for long. Do you roll over in bed for a long time or do you get out of bed in an instant? Put aren't safe for you. When you get up from bed abruptly, you don't give your body enough time to adapt to waking up. Your body and mind work differently when you are asleep than when you are awake. When you wake up, your body needs a few minutes to prepare for the awakened state. You don't need to stay in bed for longer than 2 minutes. 
your body will adapt within that short time. Also, if you stay in bed for too long, you can be tempted to stay longer. Just sit up. Once you have sat up, you have won the battle against sleep. 9. Stop making your bed first Most of us are inclined to quickly make our beds as soon as we are up from the bed. However, you don't need to make your bed as soon as you wake up. Dust mites thrive in a moist environment, so when you leave your bed unmade, first, it can help kill them off. When you leave your bed unmade, it also helps to dry out moist. 10. Stop watching TV Do you watch TV first thing in the morning? If you love to hit the TV watching news first thing in the morning, slow down. Experts say that TV is just noise and negativity aimed to get your cortisol levels pumping. Not a healthy way to start the day after a restful night's sleep. Aim to have quiet time in the morning and maintain a sense of peace and calm for as long as possible before the day begins. 11. Stop twisting and bringing your body When you are attempting to stretch your body in the morning, don't overdo it. Jeffrey Seagal, health and wellness coach said, During sleep, your spinal discs absorb fluid as part of a natural rehydration process. This causes the discs to expand, which is why you can actually be a few centimeters taller in the morning. However, this natural process also limits the movement of the vertebra and causes the spine to stiffen. As a result, flexing and bending when you first wake up is not only harder but potentially dangerous. 12. Stop making too many decisions Make the little decisions about your day before you go to bed. Having a routine in place lets your brain work a bit on autopilot in the morning, meaning that you're not wearing your brain early in the morning with decision fatigue, says Battistelli. You don't want to waste each day in finite amount of energy and brain power on silly things like what should I wear today or when will I be able to exercise. Sometimes, these habits are inevitable, but if you can keep your morning more calm and restful, Experts say you'll feel better throughout the day. 13. Stop going straight to your to-do list Treat your first waking hour as a kind of moving meditation. While you're brushing your teeth or taking a shower, avoid thinking about what's ahead. Leadership expert Steve Farber said, don't think about your tasks, deadlines, pressure or calendar. Instead, let your thoughts and awareness move to the other people and things in your life that you're grateful for. If this video inspired you to spend your mornings better, subscribe to this channel to watch videos like this. We love you.